Hey everyone, uh, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about the Second Amendment Day. Uh, specifically, when they say the right of the people to bear arms, what people are they talking about? Okay, So, highly, highly likely that when they say the right of the people to bear arms, they're talking about the same people as in the first line of the Constitution, we the people, okay, the same people. Okay, So, this is important because one of the things that the anti-gunners are trying to do is they're trying to say that you know what, when they say the we the people, uh, or when they say the right of the people to bear arms, it excludes certain people that they don't like. Okay, that's what they, that's a tactic that anti-gunners are trying to do. Specifically, they're trying to say it's only like the good law-abiding citizens of high moral standard that basically do the bidding of the Democrats. That's what they're trying to push. Um, so, so... Here's the thing, when you look at the Bill of Rights, okay, what we want to bring attention to is that when you look at the rest of the Bill of Rights, okay, look who else is protected in the Bill of Rights. Amendment number four, right against searches and seizures. Who's that protecting? Okay? Is that like people that Democrats consider like people of, of a high moral standard that need that protection? Okay? How about amendment number five? You got a right to remain silent. No double jeopardy. You have a right to due process. Okay, who is being protected there? Okay, Amendment number six, right to jury trial, confront your accusers, a right to cancel. Again, who's being protected there? Amendment number seven, uh, civil trial protections. Amendment number eight, uh, no excess bail or fines. Okay, so right there I gave you guys five uh, protections in the Bill of Rights that would seem to protect people that most people in government, right, most most uh, soccer moms, uh, most people that go to work every day and pay their taxes would probably c say that, hey, uh, these are maybe not people of high moral standard, okay? So this is important because one of the things that Democrats are trying to do in, in, in the blue states is they're trying to say that, hey, only people that they deem to be of high moral standard, their moral standards, right? People that maybe put the masks on, take the take the jab in the arm, right? Um, you know, you know, basically uh, told the Democrat line. Those are the only people that the Second Amendment protects. So, uh, when we look at the at the Bill of Rights, clearly we see that the Bill of Rights doesn't just apply to people that 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 people in power. Uh, would think that they're worthy of having protections, right? The, the founding fathers actually went out of their way to protect people that might be criminals, okay? Uh, why would they do such a thing? Well, maybe because uh, they had just overthrown their own government and were uh, technically criminals themselves, okay? Uh, you know, remember, uh, you know, revolutions, civil wars, you know, fights against injustice, right? are not fought by soccer moms. They're not fought by law-abiding citizens, okay? Uh, they're fought usually by criminals, right? In fact, half the people in George Washington's Continental Army were off the boat Irish. Why did they all come over here, right? They didn't come here because they read jo Thomas Jefferson's Declaration of Independence and were inspired. They came here because there was a famine going on back home. They were really angry at the British and they wanted to come here to murder British, okay? Those are the type of people that fight revolutions. Uh, those are the type of people that they were looking to protect, okay, when they wrote the Bill of Rights, okay? So, um, again, this is, a, this is a pushback against the, uh, the anti-gunners that say only certain type of people that have, let's say, you know, a perfect record of doing exactly what government tells them to do and think only the way government tells them to do, that those are the only people that should have guns, okay? Absolutely not. Uh, a, a big chunk of the, of the uh, Bill of Rights was specifically to protect people of being accused of crimes or maybe having even committed crimes. And one of the things I've said is that you're safe enough to be on the street, on the street you're safe enough to have a gun, okay? Um, so, how are we going to protect ourselves if all the gangsters, all the bloods, the crips, 
uh, the Hell's Angels, the Outlaw Bikers. How are we going to protect ourselves if they're all running around with guns? By having our own guns. Okay, so the Founding Fathers gave us that protection. We, it's there. All we got to do is use it. We all have a right to bear arms so we can protect ourselves. So thanks for watching. Drop some comments. Talk to you all soon.